So this is me doing something I've never done before, which is walking to a yarn store. I'm staying at a little place that is just about a quarter mile from the yarn store I'm visiting. So let's go for a walk. There is quaint little Balzac and Company. Um, it looks like there are people inside, like they're having a sit and stitch or something. So this is Balzac and Company in Ocean Grove, New Jersey. And this is their hand dyed wall. As you can see, they have a lot to choose from. I love seeing the hand dyed wall as soon as I walk in because there's just such a huge selection. That's Knitting Grow, that's Neighborhood Fiber Co, Asylum Fibers. They have so many choices. And then here's my favorite part of the store. I call it the Cotton Cove because it's just this little space between their front room and this little back room. So it's a small little alcove. And these, I think these are maybe all hand-dyed cottons on this wall. But there were a lot of brands that I hadn't even heard of before. So I'll have to get back out to <laughs> Russell's shop soon. Because, you know, summer's coming. I almost bought some of this stuff right here. But I tried to be good. And then over here, these are the brands, you know, Barocco and Lang and a lot more um, familiar brands that aren't hand dyed, but still cotton and linen and cotton linen blends. And that's some crochet thread. And then that silk yarn from a Japanese brand called Ito. I have a little bit of that. And then up there is more Ito and also another brand called Habu. And now we are heading into the back room. The back room has some, like, it's, you see a lot of the, the cakes here, um, has like some luxury fibers. I feel like this is mostly their, like, their worsted weight yarns and their basic wool, but they also have some things like this, which is like cashmere. Um, so they do have some kind of luxury yarns hiding in the back. And if you know where to look, you will also find their sale yarns right there. So these were all 30% off. And of course, silly me, I didn't get any of the clearance yarn, but I did get my yarn 20% off because of the sale they were. Okay, so, oh, here I am at Grace and Pearl, and I almost literally walked right past it. But isn't it a nice little shop? It's so seaside. So this is Grace and Pearl. It's the most charming little shop. And technically, they're not open today, but the owner is so nice and she let me in because she saw me outside looking all sad <laughs> their little front table i love this mirror they have back here look they have this giant mirror with their name in it and then here's their second room and they have books so it's a yard store and bookstore it's like all the good things And this is, most of the yarn is sorted like by brand. So this is Ruby Mango. And here's some of their samples. I think this is more Ruby Mango in here. Or no, this is something else. Oh, Nick Collage, right. I was like, something just like Ruby Mango. Here's Chelsea Lux. My mom loves this stuff. they have little odds and ends a lot of um, handmade items like local artisans and look at these huge mirrors oh my gosh I love that and this is Grace and Pearl this is La Jolla I actually got some La Jolla yarn when I was in California a few years ago and that's a Tosh. And then here are like handmade soaps. Look at that. I love that. And oils and candles and 
all kinds of charming little things. Okay, I'm going to go shopping now, so I will talk to you all later. So this is my little weekend haul, and I'm really going to learn to stop putting my finger in front of the camera lens. But this is what I picked up today at two different yarn stores. So these three are from uh, Balzac & Company. This was the last day of their 20% off sale, so I was very happy to get in there when I did. These two, the solid colors, are from Amano. And they are cotton and bamboo, yes. So this is, I believe it's a sport weight cotton and bamboo, and it is 273 yards. And then this is unique cotton from Earth Yarns. And I've worked with this before. I used a little bit of it in my wool walk tee, and it's a really nice yarn. It's a DK weight, and I'm looking forward to using it again. This is 100% cotton um, self-striping hand dyed yarn and I don't know about anyone else I find it difficult to find hand dyed cotton so um this is a nice choice and I thought these three went together really nicely and I have no idea what they're going to be but I think they were destined for one another and then at Grace and Pearl my mom has several skeins of this is actually two skeins together and she has several of these and I've been jelly since she got them <laughs> So this is Chelsea Lots. This is two yarns. One is called Cobblestone and it has these little nubs in it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little nubby on you. See, there's one. Um, and it is Merino and Nylon and that, that by itself is 438 yards. And then there's the Silk Mohair and that is another 459 yards. So you get a good amount of yarn. It's, it's, it's not inexpensive. It is $58, but it's really beautiful. I don't, you know, I don't have a lot of it. So I'm thinking of a shawl, some sort of one skein wonder type of thing. But I might be able to get something a little bit bigger though if I don't hold them together, but we'll see. But yeah, that's what I picked up today. Um, y'all gonna have to forgive me. I am new to this vlogging thing and I didn't show y'all the room or anything, but we're gonna learn as we go. <laughs> so as you can see, our channel's still growing and we're still figuring things out. Just, just bear with us. But I'm really excited about what I picked up today. And the first yarn store I went to, uh, Balzac & Co., I walked over there. <sighs> it was just very pleasant. And then... Grace and Pearl was only a 10 minute drive. So this has been a lovely day and I'm gonna chill for a minute and then see about some food.